Previously, we didn't know there are databases like uh, Abisco. We didn't know there is Emerald. We didn't know there is Blackwell, right? If we want to search for information, we just had to go on Google, where you have maybe a million hits, but I mean, what do you get at the end of the day? There are very few. I'm not saying Google is bad, but it takes you time because you are not pinpointing to what exactly you're looking for. But the moment you are aware of these databases, you know that this area, I can easily get it in Abisco. This, I can easily get it in Emerald. So you go straight there, key in your search. You just get exactly what you're looking for, and you save lots of time. And at the same time, you get quality information, quality journals, right? which really makes your work good and easy. I have been involved with Perry from uh, 2007. At the beginning, there were only seven organizations member of the network. Then in 2008, there were 22 organizations. Presently, we are about 39 organizations member of the network and I believe within a couple of years the network will be available to all organizations of Bangladesh. At the time all the stakeholders will be able to get benefit of this network and I believe being a person of this network my involvement is really uh, something meaningful and I feel I am also contributing towards my country for its scientific betterment and for uh, promoting excellence in scientific, scientific education and research. As you can see, it's strengthening the research culture in Pakistan. Uh, more and more institutions are getting involved in the research development, research kind of development. And now from the institutions, they can publish their papers in the latest international scholarly journals. Bueno, a nivel personal, uh, uno es el mejoramiento de, de las relaciones eh, con los compañeros, además de, 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 de también lo que es el mejoramiento de nuestras habilidades profesionales y pues eh, la satisfacción de, de, de ver cómo los bibliotecarios han cambiado su forma de trabajo y cómo a uh, los usuarios, poco a poco, principalmente lo que son los investigadores, eh, y los académicos han orientado, han reorientado más bien su trabajo hacia el uso de los recursos, eh, cuando esto se ve claramente en lo que es el incremento de las estadísticas de uso de los mismos. In my institution we have managed to introduce the information literacy training uh, just to ensure that you know researchers, students and academics are know how to access these resources and we have taken it further to the other institutions to say they must also introduce uh, information literacy training in their various institutions. Why? Because the more the users know about these resources, the more they will want to use them and also demand for maybe new databases. So as long as we have demand from the users, then we know that this program is sustainable because there's always demand and uh, the vice chancellors, the librarians, you will be forced to pay for the resources because demand is coming from the users. As a, a, an administrative sector, we became a reference, but in the same way we can see that slowly, because we are still starting in Mozambique, uh, slowly um, <coughs> the researchers use uh, effectively these elements to support their studies, to support their uh, activities. So this is a very important thing that we change um, the behavior of the research and the position of uh, the research in Mozambique. Y además el hecho de utilizar esa información para incrementar la producción científica.
que eso es un elemento importante también para el desarrollo de la política científica en cada país. I mean, uh, so there's a revolution in my country after introducing this very program.